We talk on it. She'll definitely be able to find them. Write on it. Read from it. I'm excited to check it out, though. And don't go anywhere without it. The cell phone, once a convenience, has become a necessity. I am actually in the process of looking for a marketing job. Like many 20-somethings, Bree never goes anywhere without her cell especially now that she's busy networking for a new job. Oh, hi, I'm Bree Calco. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What Bree and most of us don't realize is that the very features that make your phone so functional mm -hmm. could make you a target. If you're going to have a cell phone, uh, you might as well plan on not having privacy as far as I'm concerned. Michael Peros of Privacy Electronics in Pinellas Park says he needs just five or ten minutes with your phone to install the legal software that can steal your privacy and possibly your identity. The technology is widely available on the Internet. The ads promote the software as a way to catch a cheating husband, track a teenager's activities, even as a way to spy on your business partner. Is there any way that the person who has the phone knows that their, their, their device has been tampered with? It's very, 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 very hard to identify that. Extremely hard. Bree, who's also a call for action volunteer, agreed to let us install one of these programs on her cell phone to see how it works. How do you feel about this? I'm wondering what I got myself into. <laughs> With our phone now able to tap into her conversations, we spent the day following Bree at home, uh, you know, my love. getting some exercise, so I'm sure we'll be going again. lunching with friends, I'm at a restaurant. Do you want me to call you back? and running errands at the store. What's it like up there? Is the weather nice? Or like it was cold. And we overheard more than just casual chit-chat about the weather. We heard personal conversations with her mother and her boyfriend. Let me see what I can do and I will call you back. This spyware makes it very easy on the spy because every time Bree makes or receives a call, I get a text message alert telling me she's on the line. All I have to do is dial in and listen in. And this gets even creepier. At a Tampa restaurant, we could listen to Bree's conversations even though she wasn't using her phone. It doesn't even have to be turned on. That's right. Even though I'm miles away from the restaurant, clear across town, I can remotely activate the microphone in her cell phone, turning Bree's phone into a bug hidden in plain sight. What that means is I don't even have to leave my desk at work to overhear everything she and her lunch partner had to say. And I can go to my computer and call up a log of all her calls, who she talked to, and for how long. Plus, all her text messages, sent and received, spelled out, word for word. I think it's very frightening. The real-time uh, harm that could happen is uh, unimaginable. The head of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Economic Crime Section says the technology may be legal to buy or sell, but it's a federal offense to use it without a person's consent. Whatever the intention is, it's all highly illegal. You cannot intercept the conversations of another. And as if eavesdropping weren't enough, this cell tapping technology also exploits the GPS feature in most new phones. I'll give you a call for sure. While Bree gets some exercise along Bayshore Boulevard, her phone sends out a signal I can track. So I can listen in on Bree's conversation. I can get a pretty good idea of whether she's alone or whether she's with someone and I can see exactly where she is. I mean exactly, within just a few feet. I'll see you shortly. The potential for abuse is enormous, as Bree realized during her three days as our volunteer target. It's just very, um, it's creepy. Kind of a stalker's dream. It is. It is a definitely a stalker's dream. Definitely. I mean, reading the text messages, pinpointing on GPS who we are. I mean, you literally cannot hide 